Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going about uh, going to be talking about charging at home, uh, and uh, actually how to set up a charging station uh, that's safe uh, in your house. Um, if you're going to be in the RC hobby, you're going to have to have a corner of a of a room that's just yours, which you can have all your stuff in. Uh, I built a garage here, and when I built the garage, I built an airplane room for myself. And I made sure that it had plenty of outlets, plenty of independent 20 amp circuit breakers and so forth. So a charging station starts with a good quality 20 amp rated um, power strip that's on the floor down there. And then I have scattered around this room other um, 20 amp uh, fed on separate circuits for charging. Uh, I got one up there and I run two charges off of them. Um, but the important thing is to find something where the charger can sit that won't catch fire easily. Okay, so this is one of the things I use. This is a, um, a thing you put in your oven uh, to cook pizza on. Okay, my wife quit cooking pizza because we ate too much. So I now use it as a charging station. So this is a heavy duty ceramic um, uh, plate, I guess I'd call it, um, surface. Uh, it's about 16 by 15 inches, and that's what I put my charger on. Okay. Also leaves me plenty of room to um, uh, have the batteries and so forth. I'm not going to actually plug it in and charging. You can probably hear in the background I'm charging some batteries uh, with the uh, high-tech charger, and my phone here is watching uh, channel A and channel B of the two port charger and I can sit here and monitor it as I go. So um, so the, the um, setting up a charging station is important. So you got a good surface that's fireproof. I won't call it fireproof, fire resistant, okay? Because I am using it at times um, a piece of plywood up there that's fire enough, resistant enough that the smoke alarm and always have a smoke alarm in, in the room you're doing it in. So the smoke alarm's gonna go off before too much gets gets out of hand. And never leave the room while you're charging. Um, so I can sit here, I know it's charging behind me, I can monitor it here. Uh, if I have them charging up there, this one doesn't have the Wi-Fi, I'll just walk up, up there. I also set a timer uh, for when I think it's about to finish, or a timer to remind me uh, I have a have a little countdown timer like this, and I, I use it to uh, time uh, my charges and when I should go check them. Um, simple little countdown timer. <clears throat> um, so, and I'm showing here the thunder power that you saw before. So I'm going to set that up there. Uh, I have a number of leads. Okay, the batteries that comes with the the uh, apprentice uses an EC3 connector. That's this blue connector, okay? And you need banana plugs on the other end. Uh, and this is the, uh, uh, so the banana plugs go in here and this is the end that you connect to the battery. Now there's a male and a female on uh, of these type of connectors. The battery is always the female. This is always the male and uh, so there's also other types of connectors. Um, this is called a Dean's connector. That's the male, that's the female. And so this is a EC3 to um, Dean's adapter. If I want to use some of my airplanes have Dean's in the airplane and not EC3. And so I can use a EC3 connector or a Dean's connector and I have ways to switch them back and forth. So, but you're going to need several adapters depending upon the types of, of uh, batteries you're going to use to start out. If you just bought this and that's the only one you have, EC3 would be enough. But I have a Deans because I have lots of batteries with Deans. I have a um, what's called a JR connector with a banana plug uh, for charging my LiPo batteries. I have a JST connector. It's a small little red JST connector with the banana plugs for charging. Uh, usually JST, connector, JST connectors are for two cell 
only's and you'll see in some of my videos um, the FT flyer videos they have uh, that and I also have a connector to charge my um, uh, glow driver uh, for my glow uh, nitro powered airplanes so you, you may need several types of connectors depending upon what you're doing start with this is probably enough okay always use the balance uh, board and uh, you should always um, expect to have a balance uh, charge. Now, the high-tech charger can charge with or without the balance. This one requires you to balance it. I have the balance connected. I like that. I like. I'm. It just reminds me. Ooh, I forgot to connect that. So, um, uh, you're. This, so this is the beginning, okay? Now the next thing I do is I, I usually have, even though this is ceramic, I usually um, um, will put the LiPo battery in a fireproof bag, okay? Now there's several kinds, okay? There's, this is a brand called uh, Conexus, okay? And they have a small bag and a medium-sized bag and these are just velcro closed and put the battery in there and uh, um, while it's charging and uh, you don't if if it is to start smoking and gets hot this is fireproof uh, this fireproof bag will prevent it so that's, that's why they call it it's a um, lithium polymer charging bag okay they also make one which is kind of nice which is a three pack so I've got three of my batteries in there, okay, and there's a little uh, loop in there that holds them, okay, and um, I can carry, has a nice handle on it, and carry my three bag, my three um, batteries to the field, and uh, it's quite handy to uh, use it for carrying to the field and for charging, okay. Now there's other brands out there, Dynamite makes one, uh, you can get from Horizon Hobby. I've got I've got uh, six batteries for this already because I'm using some of my old ones and I bought a couple of new ones, and so I'll use a plastic box like this. It's a, a snapware plastic box that I get at the grocery store, and um, so I'll have my batteries in that for transport to the field, and always in one of these boxes I have an extra um, uh, lipo checker. So when I get to the field I can check my batteries before I put them in <clears throat> the airplane so um, so the next step is uh, what okay so I'm gonna take one of these bat in fact I'm gonna take all three of these batteries out okay so <clears throat> here are my three batteries okay um, I'm gonna set my bag here I'm gonna get my uh, lipo checker first thing you always do is check it uh, before I put it on a charger and check it after I put it on the charger and I'm looking for the balance so it's 11.8 it needs charging 392 392 393 so 3.92 volts 3.92 volts and 3.93 volts well balanced so I don't need to do any balancing before I charge if it's 0.02 if it's more than 0 0.02 off, then I balance it. This is only 0 0.01 off, so I'm not going to balance it. Okay? So, um, uh, I'll plug this in. Plug in the balancer. It lights up. Now, various balancer, various chargers have different kinds of... Um, um, uh, displays. This one has uh, a um, uh, you know just a blue LED type display and there's memory in here so I'll pick um, memory setting uh, number eight which is uh, it says it's a three pack and it's um, uh, the charge amperage is going to be 1.5 volts. And you say, well, okay, it's a 3200 milliamp hour battery. 
okay? Uh, so one C is 3.2. Well, I'm going to charge it at a half a C. Why? I'm in no hurry, <laughs> okay? I'm in here building airplanes, making videos. I'm in no hurry. Um, so um, I'm going to charge at one and a half uh, amps here. You could charge it up to 1C to 3 amps and it'll go faster. This is going to go fast enough for me. If you're at the field, I never go above 1C. So uh, I'll always charge at 1C or less. So if I was at the field and this is a 3.2, uh, 3200 um, milliamp hour battery, I would charge it at a maximum of 3.2 amps just to get it back in the air. Don't abuse it when you charge it. Don't fast charge it. Don't overcharge it and you'll enjoy your batteries for a long time. So I'm going to put that battery, well first off I'm, I'm going to connect it. So I'm going to connect the battery to the um, charge lead. I'm going to connect the uh, balance lead to the balance board. Okay. I'm going to slip the battery into the case. Okay. And, you know, you don't have to close it tightly. That's good enough just like that. So, you know, the balance board and the charge lead is, is hanging out a little bit. And that's going to work fine. Um, so now you verify it's 3S pack. And the charge amperage is 1.5 amps. And you press the start button. And it says checking the LiPo. Yes. It's, it, it just knows, hey, yes, it is a three cell uh, because you can see it on the, on the balance board. And then it starts charging. This one does an initial charge, which is at, which is at half the uh, charge you requested. So it goes to an initial charge for about mm, 30 seconds to a minute to make sure everything's working all right. And uh, now that uh, initial charge is over with and it's now charging at uh, 1.5 amps. And it obviously is telling me the um, uh, milliamp hours going in, the time since I started it, and the uh, uh, amps being charged. If I hold the green button down on this Thunder Power, um, I can uh, see the status of each uh, cell. So cell 1 is 3.95. Uh, cell 2 is 3.94 and cell 3, where it goes, cell 3 is uh, 3.94. So you can check your balance while you're charging. Uh, I like that. That's why I've been using Thunder Powers for many years. Uh, the high techs, uh, they don't show it during the charge. You can get this and see it on your phone, but you can't see it while on the display. That's why I still like this one a lot. I do like the Wi-Fi. That's that's cool. So that's a charging station. It's safe. I've I've got it on a dedicated 20 amp circuit breaker that my wife won't, you know, use. Um, and uh, um, uh, it should be um, safe enough. Oh, as I said, always make sure you got a smoke detector in the room, and never leave it. Okay, the key thing is never walk away. It's going to take, uh, let's say, 45 minutes. Um, build an airplane, read a book, do what you like. Don't walk away. I, I might be tempted to walk away carrying this, but I'm not going to. Okay, um, because you won't be able to smell the smoke quick enough. <laughs> now, I've been doing this more than 15 years. I've never had one go up. Uh, I've never had one get even hot. Um, they'll feel warm to the touch after it's being charged for a while, especially if you're charging it more than one C, the battery will get warm. That's okay. Don't let it get hot. Warm to the touch means you can hold it in your hand. It's not going to, you're not going to burn yourself. Okay. So, uh, charging is a essential part of the, of the hobby. Uh, you need to learn how to do it safely. You need to do it in a safe environment. And, um, don't let kids play with it. Don't have kids around uh, that uh, might touch something. Um, I'll, 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 I saw somebody do this. They took a, uh, a battery 
and took a lead like this and plugged this in without the banana connectors in anything. <laughs> Guess what happens if you do that? Short. Okay, don't do that. Um, uh, I was at the field one time and I saw a guy do that. And I said, wait a minute, don't plug that in. You don't have your banana plugs in. Um, so you have to know and understand the equipment, read the manuals, uh, watch somebody at the field charge theirs, <clears throat> uh, ask other pilots what do they use, uh, and you have to respect the fact that if, if these two connectors, that's why this is female and this is male, okay, or this is, this is male, um, so that you can't short them easily. Yeah, you can put two probes in there and short them. Don't do it. Because, you one, this will rapidly discharge. It will arc. You'll I've seen it happen. Um, it will arc across. It will weld. It, it could weld these two things together if you're not careful. And then you really got a problem. Because then you got to run away um, uh, discharge. <clears throat> so be very careful uh, with these. Um, Treated properly, they work very well, very safe. Abused, they can be dangerous. So I'm going to charge this battery for a while. Um, uh, I'll put my charging station back on a shelf here where it goes. And uh, uh, so be safe with it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for additional videos.